<laughs> All right, we're joined by Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo. Coach, if you can start with an opening comments about the game. Well, I'm, I've never been prouder of a team in my life. I think coaches say that every time they win, and then the year after year, and I've had some great teams. I've had some incredible guys, but what these guys have been through, nobody will ever know in the way they've handled it and how they've hung in there against a very, very, very good team. I mean, Michigan, you know, we played really well the first 10 minutes. They went on a 20 to 6 run and played extremely well. They're well coached. They're, they are a good team and probably outplayed us most of the second half. And yet the grit and the determination at halftime, I, you know, I was disappointed because uh, Xavier was in foul trouble early and played a freshman some. We tried to play Nick some, which was OK offensively and some struggles defensively just because of some things we did. And, and then uh, Cassius, I didn't think, was playing very good. And we didn't think Matt was looking for his shot. And we didn't think Kenny was looking for his. So. That's my four best players in the last month, and yet we were down eight, and we told them that. You know, we haven't played well, we're still down eight. So they played better. Cassius was unbelievable. McQuaid was even better than him. And uh, Xavier made some big plays, and uh, we found a way to beat a very good team that, as I said, probably outplayed us more than we outplayed them. We'll take questions from the media. Please raise your hand, and we'll bring a mic to you. Over here on the aisle. Coach, obviously, you guys have been snake bit with injuries. Arnie going down today. Um, how, how big of a rallying call was he uh, to rally around and come back and, and get this one at the end? I said a lot of reason I have pride in my guys, but at halftime, when Arnie came walking in there and everybody thought it was broke and it wasn't broke, but it's, it's you know, he's probably done for the year. It's badly, badly sprained. But um, the way they wrapped around him and, and then Josh, you know, emotional on him. And uh, I think, it, you know, at his expense, it gave us a lift, if you want the truth. Um, he handled it so well, and Josh has handled it so well, because we needed an emotional lift at halftime. We just, I don't know why. You know, I, I got a lot of texts from a lot of former players today. Steve Smith might have been the best one. He said, don't worry about the physical. They'll fight through that. It's the mental fatigue. And we were mentally making mistake after mistake on our coverages, even some of our best guys. And, and I'm sure there was a little bit of mental fatigue. In the front row to the right. Coach, this game kind of followed a familiar script, at least against Michigan. Despite the fact that you trailed, it seemed like most of the second half. Ever any question in your mind that you were going to pull it out? Boy, I could be real cocky, arrogant. Say, hell no, there was no question in my mind. Hell yes, there was a question in my mind. You know, I. I did not think we were playing great. And, but I did think if we got it close, you know, maybe that would help follow that script. And uh, so that was the battle cry. Let's cut it to six. Let's cut it to four, you know. Let's see at certain times we could get it down two more. We weren't greedy. And they all said it because we've been there before, you know. Let, let's just cut it down two at a time. Let's not go for home runs. And we got it down there. And it was a bizarre the way it went at the end, it was bizarre, but it was, uh, it was a good bizarre for us. Any other questions from the media? OK, over here on the aisle. Uh, just early thoughts on your first round NCAA tournament matchup. You know what? I don't have any thoughts on that. Um, I, I guess the only thoughts I have is uh, i am uh, been a one seed, been a seven seed. Got to a Final Four as a seven. Got beat the first weekend as a one. I don't know that much about Bradley. I'll know a lot more by the end of tonight. And uh, But I'm not going to let anybody talk me into talking about that, if you want the truth. I'm going to enjoy this incredible, incredible win by um, the players in that locker room. And to be honest with you, every player that ever played here. I think everybody took great solace in this win. And uh, so. Where we play, when we play, if I, if I had my druthers, it would have probably been anything but Thursday just because of our injuries and everything. But nothing's been easy all year. Why change now? I'm, I'm happy with whatever we do. Right here in the middle. Uh, what about the conference as a whole this year? Seven NCAA tournament teams and counting. How does it stack up in your memory to years past? Tough. A little disappointed in that. I think we could add eight, you know. I'm, oh. 
okay, well, then don't ask a question if you don't know the answer. Um, you know, I mean, they talked all year that we're the best conference in the country, and yet uh, there are no one seeds out of it. And then if, if we don't get eight, um, I think they deserve to have eight. Um, you know, I think we got to start um, talking about our conference because it was very good. And by the way, I think we were the only league in the country that played 20 conference games. So sometimes that's two less losses instead of automatic wins. Um, and I don't think that was talked about enough. So teams like Indiana and Minnesota and, you know, uh, I mean, who all got in, do you know? They're the only ones that's not a yet. Yeah. And they deserve to be in. They beat us twice. But uh, I think the league deserves it. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been in this league 35 years as a GA on up. And uh, I think it was anybody would argue that it's been the best top to bottom league and, and add that 20 games in. And I, I don't think we're getting any credit for that. So I think that deserves some credit for some of those teams that you know, struggled a little bit at stretches with some injuries. And um, so I hope we get eight in. I think we deserve to get eight in. Take one last one on the aisle. Coach, to beat your rival twice in a week's time for two Big Ten titles, how satisfying is that for you, of a stretch in your career? Well, you know, it's uh, – I've had a lot of games against my rival, you know. Early on, I was getting my brains beat in, and then we did some beating in, and, and now it's been a pretty solid thing. You know, last year they got us twice when it, you know, we had a really good team, and uh, that's what rivalries are. I mean, I don't think you could ask for a better game, except that it was a little low scoring, but both teams clawed and scratched, and uh, for TV, that had to be a hell of a game. Um, Maybe that's the way it's going to be from here on out. You know, maybe maybe we get this thing where some of the great rivalries are. You know, and uh, that's fine with me, and I'm sure it's fine with John. Uh, if we're playing, you know, like I told a lot of people on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, I did some radio shows in Michigan, and Michigan fans called in and said, "Well, we'll see you thir sa Sunday." I said, "I sure as hell hope so." And you should too, because that means your team survived and our team, because it wasn't easy to survive this the way uh, the good teams that were in it. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. The Michigan locker room remains open for another.